Hi, I'm Bill the Geek, broadcasting not live from Mazatlan, Mexico. This is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel, and we make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. I came to Mazatlan 17 years ago. All I did was work on the computer and eat, and I gained 30 pounds, and I wanted to figure out how to get rid of it. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I simply got rid of the 30 pounds and kept it off for 30 years. And at the very end of this video, I'm gonna take off my hoodie and my sweatpants and show you what my new 17 year old body looks like. Everywhere you go in Mexico, there's all this fabulous food tacos, tostadas, enchiladas, ribs, chicken. There's so much food. And everywhere you go, people are eating. Of course, Mexico is a party town. It's a party country. Doesn't matter what city you're in, but there are gatherings over here and gatherings over there. And wherever there's a gathering, there's food and beer. And with all that Food and beer comes fat. And that's what happened to me. I wanted to get rid of it. So I'm gonna tell you how I got rid of it. It's not a difficult concept. And then after I tell you how I got rid of it and kept it off for 17 years, I'm gonna tell you some of the do's and don'ts of doing it right so that you can maintain a healthy, slim body for the rest of your life. Now this does involve exercise, but it's not complex exercise. I'm gonna tell you how I did it in a minute, but I, I just wanna give you a couple of exercise examples. I could jog, I used to run college track for one year. I was very good at track. I would practice in New Hampshire with the seventh fast mile relay team in the country. I continued to jog for many years, but after a while, the bones in my knees, it was like bone hitting bone, so I gave it up. I could bike for exercise. Uh, and, and when I was uh, in high school, I used to ride 100 miles a day on my 10 seed bike. I don't bike anymore. My second wife, he was a billionaire. He was about 62 years old, great guy, really in shape, worked out all the time. He would ride his bike up and down the coast on the East Coast, up and down the coast on the West Coast. He would fly to Europe and bike all over Europe. And the guy would bike 100 miles every Sunday through Southern California in one of the most expensive neighborhoods outside of Los Angeles. Now his neighborhood had very brand new streets every day. So he did 100 miles, he's coming home, he hit a pebble, did a flip, came down on his neck, and then he was paralyzed forever and ever. At the age, he was like 62 or 63 years old. He died in the hospital. He choked to death on a hot dog. So because of my knees, I'm not jogging. And because of his accident, so many things can happen to you on a bicycle you have no control over. So I'm not biking. I refuse to ride the bike. So let's get into what I do to maintain this hot figure that I'm gonna show you in full at the end of the video. Okay, here it is. This is what I do to maintain my weight and my health. I walk four miles a day, five days a week. I walk Monday through Friday, rain or shine, five days a week. And now I'm gonna give you the details because the details will help. I get up at five o'clock in the morning and I read something inspirational or spiritual uh, before I go walking. This takes me about 30 to 40 minutes. Then I live wherever I'm living and I do my walk. I walk 30 minutes one way and 30 minutes back. 
When I lived in Chapala, I could walk a circular route so that I didn't see anything twice. But now that I'm in Mazatlan, I go down the ocean for 30 minutes and walk back. Now there are some do's and don'ts into doing this. The thing is you want to have clothes that you can wear. You want comfortable shoes and wherever you live, it might rain. I tell you, most mornings, five days out of the four days, I don't want to do it. It's five o'clock in the morning. The bed is very comfortable and I don't want to do it. So if it's raining, maybe I won't go. I'm kidding. You have to be prepared for the rain. So you want to get on Amazon and search for some white walking waterproof boots. You want to invest in a nice raincoat and a rain hat. Even in Mexico, it will get chilly. When I was in Chapala in the mornings, it was like 47 degrees. So to this, this morning I was walking, I had a pair of gloves on. So invest in a couple of hoodies, a nice warm coat to wear, and a hat to keep your head warm. Those are the things to do because you don't want to give yourself any excuse not to walk five days a week. But I tell you what, if you follow my advice, you can stay thin and trim and healthy and eat all that you want. Yes, I said it, eat all that you want. Okay, it's an hour a day, five days a week, but what are the are alternatives? You can go on a diet. My parents would, were on diets their entire lives. We can't eat this, we can't eat that. They went on the Weight Watchers diet, the turkey diet. We can eat this, we can't eat that. Yes, they lost weight, but it was hard. You can join a gym. You gotta go to the gym, pay the money. What if you're on vacation? What if you leave town on business? What if you're at a friend's house for a week? Where's the gym then? With walking, you don't have to worry where everything, anything is. All you have to do is get out of the house and do it. Here are things that you don't want to do when you walk. I prefer to walk alone because after I read my motivational stuff, my spiritual stuff, I want time to think about that. If you find somebody to walk with, some people are talkers and they want to talk for the full hour and that gets old very quick. Plus, sometimes the thing that they want to talk about is not the most inspiration, inspirating and spiritual stuff that you want to hear. Other times, walking with someone else means that they may want to not want to do it one morning. So they call you up and they say, I'm not going today, so what are you going to do? You say, ah, maybe I won't go either. Don't do anything that will get in your way of walking, uh, uh, especially another human being. So now, like I said, I'm going to take off my clothes and you're going to see what 17 years of walking five days a week for one hour has done to my 66 year old body. Please leave a comment, tell us what you think. And if you like the video, please click the like button. And we have many more videos to come, so consider clicking that subscribe button. We go live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. That's Chicago time, Houston time. So click the subscribe button and then you'll get a notification right before we go live. And you can talk with people all over the United States that talk about the joys of living in Mexico. Here it is. This is my 66 year old body. Sorry, I'm holding up the mic. Sorry, I'm holding up the mic because they don't have clip-ons for the body. Here we go. Let's get a little closer. Yes, I'm 66 years old. This is what I look like. And this is what happens when you walk five days a week for an hour, 
for many years. I've been doing it 17 years and it's working for me. I know some of you guys are laughing and cringing and saying, oh, that body's terrible. But this is what I got. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this will inspire somebody to get in the program and enjoy your health, enjoy your body, eat all you want, and have a good life. I'm Build Geek. This is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel. We have many more videos to come, so remember to click the subscribe button.